theorem 10.10 .10 tells us that a quadrilateral can be inscribed in a circle if and only if its opposite angles are supplementary. So what this means is that if we have a circle with an inscribed quadrilateral, and we'll yeah, it helps if my lines are a little bit straighter. A, B, C, D. Then, measure of angle A plus the measure of angle C needs to equal 180 degrees. So A and C need to be supplementary. Also, B and D need to be supplementary. So the measure of angle B plus the measure of angle D equals 180 degrees. The reason this happens is because, notice, let's focus on A and C. Alright, angle A intersects or intercepts arc BD. Angle C intersects the rest of the circle. But since they're both inscribed angles, they're both going to be half of the measure of their intercepted arc. So what happens is, together, they equal half of 360. The measure of angle A plus the measure of angle C needs to equal half of 360, which is what makes it equal to 180. S we see a similar thing happen with B and D. We have our circle. Then angle B gives us this arc. And angle D gives us the other part of the circle. So together, they make a full circle. So their measures together need to be half of a full circle. So the measure of B plus the measure of D needs to be half of 360 which is why it's 180. Let's look at an example. For the quadrilaterals below, which are inscribed, I want you to find the values of each variable. Try this on your own first, and then resume the video when you're ready to check your solution. All right, in this first one, I see that E is opposite C, meaning that 70 or Y plus 75 equals 180. So Y equals 105. Now I see that B and D are opposite each other. So X plus 80 equals 180. X equals 100. Thus I find that X equals 100 degrees and Y equals 105 degrees. Those are my answers. Let's try part B. Again, pause the video. Resume it when you're ready to check your solution. Here my opposite angles are E and C, so C plus 2C minus 6 needs to equal 180. This gives me, I can just drop the parentheses, I get 3C minus 6 equals 180, 3C equals 186, C equals 186 divided by 3, which is 62 degrees. Then, B is opposite D, so 10x plus 8x equals 180, 18x equals 180, x equals 10. Thus, my final answer is that x equals 10 and c equals 62. And that does it for our video notes. So if you have any questions, go back and review the topics. Make sure you know the relationship between an inscribed angle and its intercepted arc. The inscribed angle is half of the intercepted arc. Recognize that if arcs intercept the s or angles intercept the same arc, they must be congruent. That a triangle is a right triangle if and only if its hypotenuse is the diameter. And inscribed quadrilaterals have opposite angles supplementary.